a second year fourth grade teacher in West Michigan and as I am filming this clip today is actually Memorial Day it is like the most beautiful day outside and we have just been soaking it up we love this great weather so far this morning I have edited a bunch of videos for my school district and just other little projects that I've been working on but now Chris and I are just about to head over to his parents house and we're just gonna sit outside and do some barbecue and you know kind of put our chairs far away but still enjoy some time together with family so I'm really excited for that that'll be super fun I believe and I am just about to hop on my first meeting of the day I did vlog yesterday But one of my goals as I'm trying to work on bettering my channel is to not put out any content that I would not watch myself And honestly you guys I just felt like yesterday was so boring I was in meetings all day and I didn't really get like a ton of b-roll or anything like that so I am just scrapping it and that's okay. I did get this cute little cup yesterday. I went to Target for some groceries and looked for this while I was there. I kept seeing this on Instagram and it is like the cutest teacher cup. Right now I have some iced coffee in there. So the cup itself isn't actually white at the top like that, but it is kind of like a white gradient at the bottom. It's so stinking cute, like the perfect teacher tumbler. I definitely didn't need it, but I really wanted it. So I was excited to see it. The Starbucks in my Target was closed, but they still had like the mugs and cups all available. Just on like end caps in the Starbucks area. So anyways, let's do our meeting and then I'll see you when I see ya. Also, I know that my hair today kind of makes me look like I'm five years old, but that's okay. I'm here for it. Hey there guys, so now I'm just about to jump on my meeting with my kids. I just worked on editing the video up until this point, so I hope you've enjoyed it so far. And yeah, I'm just gonna jump on my meeting in just a few minutes. It starts in about 15 minutes, and I usually like to be at least a few minutes early. But I just wanna let you guys know, my meetings lately have been super laid back, especially because it's the end of the year. As it's gotten nicer outside, our participation has gone down dramatically, and I'm sure other people are probably facing similar things. So let me know in a comment below if you guys are doing remote learning. Has your participation just kind of gone downhill because mine totally has and I get it we all are ready for a break at this point but it's been hard like not seeing a lot of the kids but that's okay today we're gonna do a little show and tell I just sent an email to my kids earlier this morning and said hey if you have anything you'd like to share we haven't done a show and tell in a while so feel free to you know have it on camera with you and then I do have a couple books out so I might read a book at the end we'll see I do find that reading books live on our Google meets is a little bit tricky because if there's like any lagging or whatever it just makes it kind of tricky so I prefer to do those like on my camera and then upload them oh and then I might print a directed drawing if we have a little bit of extra time so let me go look for one a second my favorite person to get them from is zippity doodah design so I pulled up teachers pay teachers but I haven't looked on her page yet so let me see if there's any that we haven't done already so this is her page and she has just a ton of great stuff it's loading right now but I'll show you guys I have been looking at books on first book today and I'm thinking about placing an order. I always add like a ton of stuff to my shopping cart and then end up kind of weeding through it at the end. But if you haven't used First Book before, I would highly recommend it. I totally love it. You can get books for really inexpensive and they have a lot of great ones. You can search by category and um, they also have quite a few books in Spanish. So if you're a teacher who does like Spanish immersion or Spanish classes or really anything, I feel like you could use these. I like having some books in my library that are in different languages for exposure. I was just looking through some of these books and you can also sort by like age over here let's see so I'm in a category right now but you can search by price you can go by age group there are books all the way up to adult so like if you're searching for children's books you probably want to go with the age that would be like your grade and then also sometimes I'll search by hardcover because I just really prefer having hardcover books so I would click hardcover 
and then it will show me what they have and like you can see that prices are super inexpensive so i love this resource you guys you have to check it out if you're a teacher and you haven't used it before so at this point i'm realizing we've done almost all of her directed drawings which is awesome so there's just a couple we haven't done yet and one of them that i'm seeing that we i know we haven't done is a spaceship so that looks super cute so i'll show you guys so this one we have not done yet so it's how to draw a spaceship and then there's a bunch of different options so you can have it like this which is how i do it so i can show the kids like my drawing right here but then the steps up there you also could have it like landscape instead of portrait and then that one is like just the pictures so that would be kind of nice if you had like a station or something where you were doing this I think that would be cool so now I'm going to download it open it up and print it out okay we've got a journey downstairs to go get it now oh yeah if you guys don't have an HP printer I'm like obsessed I have like the HP instant ink and it's so much cheaper than regular ink so yay so I have this and then I'm gonna grab a marker and then let's go do this meeting so Google just made a change and now you know how we were using that grid extension now they made it so you don't need the extension you can just press those three little dots in the bottom right hand corner and then there's an option that says change layout and you can press where it says tiled and then it will show you everybody. I know it's warm, it's warm up in my house too. Our downstairs gets really cold and then our upstairs gets super hot. Ugh. Oh, I thought you said she turned six, but then I realized she's definitely not six. <laughs> she's little. <laughs> Good to go for the next step? I think some of you already moved on. I'm gonna draw my eyeballs. Well, not my eyeballs, but the spaceship's eyeballs. I tried to make brownies last week and I burned them. Yeah. It was sad. They were very burnt. They were very burnt. It was kind of funny though. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. Am I blurry? I can't tell. Not to be dramatic, but I'm like obsessed with my kids. Like they're just so sweet. And now I only have like probably six of them who are coming. So it's sad like not seeing the ones who I don't get to see. But at the same time, like I just love hanging out with them. And because it's a smaller group, like I feel like we all get to share. And so that's kind of cool. So I'm trying to look on the bright side, but it was just fun hearing about like what they've been up to. A lot of them are playing outside a lot and yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's seriously the highlight of my week. I know I've said that in like every video, but I just love seeing them and connecting with them and it just makes me feel like a teacher again. Like I think that's been my hardest part right now is like I just don't feel like a teacher. I just feel like, I don't know, like I feel like I have an office job almost without an office, if that makes sense. Like I feel like I'm just constantly doing like paperwork and emails and whatever, but I'm not getting to like interact with the kids as much obviously. So whenever I get to do these meetings, it seriously just puts me like in the best mood, so. I'm feeling good. I'm going to import this footage a second. I need to kind of wrap up this video pretty soon because I need to export it still and have it up by 3 o'clock. I honestly don't know if this video is going to go up on time today because I don't know. I'm just not sure if I can get it done in time, but we will see. I'm going to try. Okay, you guys, for lunch, I'm going to try this reduced guilt mac and cheese from Trader Joe's. I've heard really good things about it, so I just preheated the oven and it's good to go. Oh, it still smells like burnt marshmallows in here. Yuck. Set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. Oh yeah. All right, let's check it out. Oh, interesting. I think I'm gonna stir it up a second and then let it stay in because it doesn't really look all the way done yet, but we're getting close. Okay, you guys, so I haven't tried my first bite yet because it's still cooling down, but this is what it looks like. 
I don't know, I feel like the cheese looks kind of strange, but maybe it's just me. And then I'm editing this vlog right now. So yeah, this is what it looks like on my screen. I use Final Cut Pro X. Kind of weird vlogception that you guys are seeing me edit it while you watch the vlog. <laughs> and then also I've been watching a Remy video. I like love watching vlogs. And so Remy has some of my favorite vlogs. I've like been watching her since I was in probably high school and I really, really like her. So yay. Okay, you guys, I think I'm gonna try the first bite. So it's gonna be a little hot. It smells pretty good. Okay, wait, you guys, this is actually so good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, I'm happy. It does not take a lot to make me happy, but I am happy. Why is it so crooked? <laughs> oh my goodness. When I was in college, we called these party ponies, by the way. Does anybody still call them that? I don't know. Like, could be in 13 going on 30. Could just be a teacher in quarantine. Who knows? Hey guys, so I just finished up my lunch. It was delicious. And now I have just accepted the fact that this vlog is not gonna be up on time, so I apologize in advance. So I'm gonna post something on my Instagram apologizing as well, uh, but that's okay. I would rather put out something that I like than just throw something together and get it up on time, if that makes sense. So I think it's probably fine. But I did wanna share with you guys, in one of my last vlogs, I talked about how I recently started running and my feet were hurting so bad. And literally every single comment was telling me that I needed to get actual running shoes. So I did go to an actual actual local sporting goods store yesterday and they were doing fittings and actually one of my coworkers, who's also a good friend of mine her husband works there and so he was the one who did my fitting so that was fun because I already knew him and I knew that he would like hook me up with some good shoes so I ended up getting these New Balance shoes I really don't know anything about shoes you guys but I'm just gonna show you the ones that I got so here are the details on the side and normally I wear a six but apparently in running shoes you're supposed to go up a half size so that's what I did and he had me try on a few different pairs of shoes and these ones were just so comfortable you guys and they just feel so good so I noticed a huge difference between these and just my normal shoes already so I'm really really excited to have these these are the New Balance Fresh Foam and then the number is 880 if that means anything to you so Super excited to have these. Thank you so much to all of you who left comments trying to help me out because I need all the help I can get. <laughs> so then when I was done there, I went next door to the GNC and picked up just a couple quick things. I've been wanting to try this Alani new pre-workout. I tried their energy drinks and loved them. And a bunch of you guys told me to try this out. So this is in the flavor Rainbow Candy. And I ordered a blender bottle off of Amazon that should be here on Friday, I think it said. So I'm really excited to try this. And I definitely will keep you guys updated on how I like it. And then I also got these little smart sweets candies these are supposed to be like healthier versions of candy i mean it's still not like good for you i'm sure but i love sour peach rings and so i'm so excited to have these here are the details on the back if you're interested like i said i know that these still are not like a healthy food but i just have wanted to try them and i like i said earlier and i've said in so many vlogs i watch so many vlogs and so i'm very influenced like if somebody i watch buy something or like recommend something i always want to try it too and this has been recommended in a bunch of vlogs so i'm just easily influenced you guys okay I just want to try all the things <laughs> hey there guys so I wanted to share with you guys yesterday we started our book study on this book which is why are all the black kids sitting together in the cafeteria and other conversations about race by Beverly Daniel Tatum and this book is one that had been on my TBR list for a long time and I talked about in one of my recent vlogs how a bunch of teachers decided to get together and do a book study on this and yesterday we had our first meeting I think it was supposed to be like an hour long and it ended up being like an hour and a half and then I had to cut it off because I realized what time it was and I wanted to make sure I was being like respectful of everybody's time but you guys so far I've only read the prologue of this but I will say like the prologue is pretty meaty like this is all the prologue right here and I would highly highly recommend this so far I ordered this off of Amazon and I know it's like a big intimidating looking kind of book and I know not everybody likes reading nonfiction but I do feel like this is a really important conversation to have and just I don't know I just feel like I've learned so much from it already and also the author has a really great interview that she did with the Chicago Humanities Festival and that is a video that's on YouTube it's about an hour long but seriously you guys it flies back because it's so good. My friend Maylene is part of our book study and she shared that with our group and it just was so invaluable. I actually ended up watching it twice. The first time I just sat back and watched it and then yesterday I re-watched it again and took a bunch of notes and it just is such a good video. So I'm gonna make sure to link that below and I would highly recommend watching that. I really, really enjoyed it. Hello. 
So <laughs> this is like the weirdest angle. I feel like I'm trying to get creative with where I go in my house because I don't want all the clips to be the same. But yesterday when I went to Target, I got a new cat harness for Jack because he outgrew the old one. Oh, Jack, Jack, you're covering the camera. <laughs> There we go. So it's actually technically a small dog harness, but we're gonna try it on Jack and see how it goes because he is a thick kitty. So we're gonna try this on for size, see how it goes, and then we're gonna go out on the deck. This must go around your neck. He's not interested. <laughs> hey, come here. It could be better, but it also could be worse. So I don't think Jack likes the harness. Jack, do you wanna try going outside? Check it out. Left Jack is outside. I'm definitely wearing socks with sandals right now, so I've reached like full dad mode at the moment. He's like looking around at least. I feel like he's not a fan though, you guys. Oh no. I think he likes the cat backpack better, but I just worry as it's getting hot. Like, I feel like, okay, okay, you guys saw him roll into that, right? He can roll out, okay. With the cat backpack, it just like gets kind of hot for him, I feel like. Jack, can you? I know you just got yourself all tangled, baby. Okay, you guys, we're back inside now, and Jack is much happier now that the harness is off. So, if you have any tips for how to get Jack to walk on a leash, <laughs> let me know. It might just be that cats are not meant to walk on leashes, and that's okay, too. Did you have fun? Say, no, Mom, I didn't have any fun. I tried to get it off the whole time. Hey there, guys. So, we are in the cat room now, and so it might be kind of echoey, so I apologize, but I wanted to finish up this vlog with the comment shout-out. So, the first comment shout-out goes to Jessica. Jessica's comment totally made me crack up laughing because she was saying that she could feel my pain, basically, with the broiler issue in the last video. If you guys missed it, my last video was like, a really big huge cooking fail so uh, <laughs> if you want to feel better about your own cooking and baking skills then go watch my last video the next comment shout out is to miss maddie and she left a really funny comment about how i should have said a pair of pears instead of just saying that i got like two pears or a couple pears or whatever and i love a good pun so this comment totally made me smile so thanks for commenting maddie and then the last comment totally made me smile so i had to include it it was from emily and she was just saying like 2020 is so weird just the the fact that I was like excited that I got a mask that matched my outfit like that is totally weird like imagine saying that like a year ago thank you guys so much for sticking with me all the way until the end of the video I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you are not already subscribed to my channel I would love if you would take a second to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and I will see you guys next time bye guys